Well, I just spent too much money. So if you couldn't tell by the shelf behind me, I do like to collect me some video games. And recently I decided to pick up some Japanese video games, something I hadn't previously done before. And I'm excited to show you what I picked up. There's definitely some Zelda games in there, so let's get into it. Hey what's going on guys, it's Ryan here from Game Essays. This channel is all about covering some of my favorite game series, including The Legend of Zelda and Pokemon. If you enjoy the content on this channel, I highly encourage you to both like and subscribe, as when we hit 1000 subscribers, I am going to do a little milestone goal of learning to play some Zelda songs on the Ocarina. So I'd appreciate it if you guys help me reach that goal. Getting into today's video, we are looking at some cool Japanese games that I have picked Picked up. There's also one US game that I ended up getting and it came from Japan so it started in the US, somehow got to Japan, now it's coming back. Um, but anyway, it's mostly Japanese games and I'm excited to show off what I picked up. Not all of them are for me, my buddy over at Chris Collects Things also uh, got a bunch of games in this order as well. So I'll be saying who's who got what. but. Go check out his channel, Chris Collects Things. Like I said, he does all Pokemon cards and some other trading cards as well. I've done a number of videos over on his channel with him opening up some Pokemon cards. So if I'm opening up Pokemon cards, it's gonna be over at his channel. So go check it out. And I hope to have him on my channel soon as well. So let's get into it. Uh, first up, this is something Chris picked up. And this is Mario The Lost Levels, AKA Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, and this is for the original NES or the Famicom in Japan. And again, this is something where in the US we don't have an official release of this on it as a standalone, right? Uh, I think it is on Nintendo Switch Online. We had it in Mario All-Stars collections, but never as a standalone release. We got, of course, most people know the story. We basically got a reskin of a game called Doki Doki Panic, and then it wasn't until All-Stars that we actually got the true Super Mario Brothers 2. But anyway, I think this is a really cool pickup, so uh, good for Chris on that one. Next up, we have for, all, uh, for the Super Famicom, this is Star Fox. And you'll notice the cartridge definitely different than you know you would see for right for the American Super Nintendo, and you have like the different symbol here. The America had a different symbol for Super Nintendo as well. But anyway, definitely good pickup. I've I've never been really big on Star Fox. Not that I dislike the game, I just really haven't played it. But I know my buddy Chris is into it, and this is definitely a sweet pickup. And this is just loose uh, without a case or anything. Uh, one of the coolest pickups, this is also a Chris one. There's going to be a lot of Chris ones up front, but he got the Super Game Boy 2, and I can move this a little bit. I don't want to take it out of plastic. I'll let him do that. But this is uh, really awesome. We didn't get this in America, to my knowledge. And it basically, the difference between the regular Super Game Boy, you know, you'd put this in your Super Nintendo, you put a Game Boy game in there, and you could play it on your TV. Well, we never got the Super Game Boy 2, which would do Game Boy Color, and not only that, but there is a link cable port. My camera really won't focus, but you could, you know, trade with your friends, play Tetris, whatever. And, and that's really awesome. So this is a, a great pickup that I didn't really know existed, but that's really cool. And I'm kind of sad we didn't get this back in the day. Moving on, we have Super Mario Kart, another loose cartridge here. And this is, again, Super Famicom. The original Mario Kart, but the Japanese version. So I'd never actually seen like this cartridge art before, but really, really cool. And another great pickup by Chris. So we can take a look at one of my pickups and look at this beautiful thing. Pokemon Gold. This cartridge is, uh, this box rather, is in just absolutely beautiful shape. And I'm super excited. Um, it is in the wrap. Uh, it's not in like a sealed wrap. This is just the the wrap that they sent it in. But man, this box is just in glorious condition. And I am really pumped about this. You can see like a little bit of the screenshot on there. But wow, this is just beautiful. And uh, I'm really excited about this. So this is the Japanese Pokemon Gold, of course. We have the Ho-Oh artwork on here. And I'm just, uh, I'm, un I'm in love with this already. So moving on, 
this uh, speaking of Pokemon there's gonna be quite a bit of Pokemon here uh, this is for Chris he wanted Pokemon white and this is the obviously the Japanese version of it so it's kind of got like this paper case under it um, maybe I'll slide it open I'll be super careful okay so it looks like we get like the regular DS cartridge underneath but I mean this box is in absolute beautiful condition looking very very nice so yeah it looks like we get the standard ds thing ever but yeah we didn't get this where you get a nice little uh cardboard box over it but otherwise looks pretty uh pretty close to what we what we got in america okay next up i mean we'll continue the pokemon train here this is where it all began and my god this box is in incredible shape but this is the og of ogs 1996 Pokemon red now I also wanted to pick up Pokemon green but it uh, they didn't have it at the time uh, um, where I, you know where I was looking so it might be something I will uh, pick up down the line but still this is as OG as it gets and I can't believe how good condition this box is it's absolutely stunning moving on we gotta get some Zelda here, right? Zelda is uh, my jam. We have the Minish Cap. And I, when I saw this artwork, the Japanese artwork for the box, I had to get it. And this is just super cool. I mean, this is so much cooler than the English box art, in my opinion. And I just love it. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. Uh, since this is mine, I'll, I'll be a little bit more... Uh, like liberal with it I guess opening it but let's see if I slide this out what do we have okay we got our cartridge here and there is I believe there's a manual on the other side here nice manual looks like it's in good condition so it looks like everything's here I don't know if there was some inserts that maybe it's missing but I'm totally okay with it and I should state that most of these are just as collector's items for me. I, I don't really intend to um, kind of use them to play, although I don't know if uh, GBA is like region free or not, but it's more of a collector's piece. And it's crazy how like different and small the, the GBA box is for Japanese, but um, this is just super, super cool. And I'll probably try and find a way to get like a protective case for this. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have this is for this is a pickup for Chris, but this is Banjo Tooie. And my goodness, again, the box is in incredible, incredible shape. And I am uh, wow. Uh, I've never actually seen this box art before, but it is really, really cool, and I love it. And I'll be very careful opening this to see the uh, the insert here and see what we got inside. I'm being super careful. Okay, so we got our cartridge here and there's a manual in the back. Everything looks to be in pretty spot on condition. So again, it's like these old things, these old games that come in cardboard and stuff like that, condition is everything because a lot of people did not take, you know, super good care of them. Moving on, we got a couple things left here. We have, this is a, a small little pickup, but this is um, the, this is for Chris. This is NES collection with uh, the original Legend of Zelda on it. So he just wanted the loose cartridge for this. Um, yeah, I don't really want to take it out of the, the, the plastic for him, but you can see, obviously you can see Link here that uh yeah so this is just like how we got those nes classics for gba it's just the um legend of zelda version okay for the the semi finale here semi finale we have a japanese ocarina of time and look at this condition this is beautiful 
It's incredible. We got the Temple of Time on here. We got some Dodongo's Cavern. We got Link on a horse. We got Child Link, Adult Link up here. Look at this front cover. This is crazy. This is just crazy. And this box, in crazy good condition. I'm sorry for the glare on it. But you know what I mean? Look at how beautiful this is. Look at how beautiful this is. And you know what? You know what? You know what we got? You know what we got? You know I had to. You know these are me. Majora's Mask. So we got Ocarina of Time. We got Majora's Mask. Look at this. Look at this. I'll take these out of the plastic eventually, but look at this. It's just... It's incredible. Sorry if it's not fully focusing, but unbelievable. Beautiful condition, just looks fantastic. You'll see these up on my shelf very soon. Don't you worry about that. And you know what else? You know what else we got? You know what else we got? We've got another, that's right, another Ocarina of Time because I couldn't help myself, people. I couldn't help myself. Look at this. This one is not in the plastic. I don't know why, but same deal. Uh, yeah, none of these are factory sealed or anything, but okay, let's take a look at the contents since this one's a little more beat up. But yeah, looks like we get the manual and everything in there. Just... Oh God. All right, there's a little bit of broken plastic there, so I want to make sure not to ruin the box. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, of course, I couldn't help myself. I got two Ocarina of Times and a Majora's Mask. You know it. You know I had to. Okay, the grand finale. The grand finale. This is the US game, right? And a lot of people know certain, certain thing, you know, I talk about you know, we talk about Pokemon cards, right? We talk about Pokemon cards and how these have skyrocketed, but something else skyrocketed with it, and that was the Pokemon games. And you already saw me with a couple Pokemon games. But a US Pokemon game, we know the price has gone up. And I think the, the price I got for this was definitely below market, so I'm super pumped about it. And I just saw it, got a sneak peek of it, and I was pretty freaking happy with the condition. So let's let's get to this finale here. Look at this. Pokemon Sapphire. Nice like reflective box and all. Really really good condition, US version. So I was pretty happy with the price I paid. It wasn't necessarily cheap or anything, but I would say I got it for definitely under market price. So I'm super pumped about it. And I do believe my I have a protective box that it should fit. Like there's definitely a little bit of a dent in the box, but trying to find something like this is not easy for a reasonable price and I am just over the moon with uh, with finding this. Like I said, it was still not super cheap, but definitely cheaper than I would have expected. And I feel like in particular the the Gen 3 era, it's it's hard to find because these didn't sell as much as Gen 1 and 2. So yeah, this is, and like everyone say from gen four onwards, it's in plastic cases. So everyone kept that. So I do feel like these are one of the harder to find. It's not as hard as Emerald, but still, this is uh, crazy, crazy cool. Um, so anyway, those are all the pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm gonna, tr for the sake of my wallet, I'm gonna try and not do more Japanese pickups for at least a little bit, but if you do like this content, you wanna see me do more kind of collection videos and pickup videos, let me know. I'm trying to uh, conserve my wallet here, but things between Pokemon cards and video games, I'm hurting a little bit, but I was really happy to show these off. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.